Hi everyone, welcome to everything Daphne. Okay, <laughs> nice in the background. Is someone trying to play music? I hear background music. Anyways, let's just focus. Let's not be distracted by some people. Okay, today we are going to share about God a mystery. The greatest lie ever that has ever happened is that God is still a mystery. That God is a mystery. Thank you, Father, that your word is going to everyone who needs it in the name of Jesus. And that revelation, power, and glory are going to flow in the name of Jesus. And nothing will be left behind. And no one will be left behind. And people will be encouraged. People will be lifted up. People will be, those who are blind, will see in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay, today's reading is from John 14 verse 6 to 14 many people say that god is a mystery today we are going to destroy that lie um anyways where did this come from at one point i was just hanging around with friends and then i had some friends of mine like you know you cannot know god's ways you cannot know who god is you cannot know what his plans are you know just god whatever happens is will happen you just you can never know you can never know god you don't know god you don't know his ways you don't know who he is but today we have come to tell you that god is no longer a mystery god is no longer a mystery god is known you can know god completely and without saying that he's a mystery and how can you know that right now you're going to know the reading from john chapter 14 verse 6 Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Growing up, we had this mystery, this um this knowledge that we always thought that Jesus is the way to heaven. Well, well, he is the way to heaven, but heaven is like yeah, everyone a moment in Jesus, obviously heaven is 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 automatic for you, but like God's best also is for you to know that Jesus is the way to him. Jesus is the way to God. No one can come to God except through Jesus. Sometimes this world you can hear many people talk about God, like very many people around the world talk about God. But one way you can know that this person is real or not or fake is is through Jesus. If a person doesn't recognize the name of Jesus, automatically you can know that this person is just speaking and they do not believe in God. Because God, Jesus is the only way to the Father. Jesus is not the way to heaven. Jesus is the way to the Father. Jesus once you get to know who Jesus is, and you can get to know him through the word, through the Bible, you can get to know Jesus. When you get to know Jesus, that is who God is. And some people say that God has destroyed, God has taken, God has brought back. But when you see Jesus, Jesus was giving the whole time on, he, on earth. He was giving life. He was healing the sick. He wasn't giving for sickness. He was speaking to the storms. He wasn't like, okay, you guys have done wrong. Let this storm destroy you. If you can see another example, whenever Jesus was with James and John, the sons of Zebedee, they were going to call fire upon a certain village where they had refused them to go. And Jesus said, that is not how we do things. They were going to do that because of how they, saw, they had read about Elijah calling fire upon the prophets of Baal. But Jesus showed them that this is not the way. The way is life. He cannot destroy. He did not destroy anyone even to the point of death. Peter tried cut, cutting off someone's ears. Jesus healed that person's ear. So Jesus is showing you up to the point of death that he is life. He is good. He is not bad. And through Jesus, you're able to know 
God. Jesus is God. He's the only way to God. If you do not go through Jesus, you are going to miss. You are going to know some God that is wrong. You're going to live a life of knowing some something about God and generally knowing shadows about God and not knowing God completely. Jesus is the real image of God. When you know Jesus, you know who God is. So there is no one who should say that they do not know God. There is no one who should say that God is a mystery. If you are in Christ Jesus, you know God. If you are in Christ Jesus, you cannot say that God is a mystery. God is the way to the Father. Jesus is the way to the Father. If you want to know the ways of God, see Jesus. And that is the way of God. If you are sick, Jesus healed. Jesus told his disciples to heal. His disciples healed. His disciples saw what he did. They healed and raised the dead to life. He raised the dead to life. If you see yourself sick, or if you see yourself suffering, just know that that is not God's way for you. How do we know? Jesus. Jesus, when you saw somebody sick, when you saw somebody having leprosy, having any weaknesses, he healed them. He took away all those infirmities and he set them free. He released them from all those sicknesses, from all those sufferings. from all. He released them from all those limitations. From all those operations, he set them free. And that is how you know God. The way. Jesus is the truth about God. From the beginning, there has been um, prophets. Um, prophets talking about God. Um, but Jesus is the truth about God. Most of them, like Moses. Moses, Moses really had very many things that were true about God. I also had very many things that were wrong about God. All the people who wrote um, the Old Testament, they had very many things that were true about God, but they also had very many things that were wrong about God because they saw God in shadows. Jesus comes in and he, he is the truth. He's saying that I am the truth about the Father. He is the life of the Father. If you don't have life, see Jesus and you will have life. The life of God. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and it is enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, and you still do not know me? Philip, whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, or else believe on accounts of the works themselves. Truly, truly, I say to you, Whoever believes in me will also do the works that I do and greater works than these will he do because I am going to the Father. Whatever you ask in my name, this I will do that my Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask me for anything in my name, if you ask me for anything in my name, I will do it. From this, if you want to read it personally, if you want to think that I'm lying, it's John 14, John chapter 14, verse 6 to 14. It is clearly showing that if you saw Jesus, if you know Jesus, then you know God. I should never hear any person who knows Jesus say that God is a mystery. Like, oh, 
God's ways, you know God's ways. So like, oh, this year I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do that. But you know, you never know God's ways. You never know God's ways. You stupid person, don't be stupid. You should know that as long as you know Jesus, then you know God. Jesus came that you may have life and life in abundance. Therefore, God wants you to have life and life in abundance. So whatever you're planning to do, that is whatever you're planning to do, God is there for you and God is for you. That is how you know the way of God. The way of God is Jesus. If anyone comes and says, God, this, God, that, God, that, look at jesus and then you know whether this person is saying the truth about god or not if it doesn't align with who jesus is then it's not true think of all the people in the bible starting from moses to uh, our amazing man paul to all the apostles to all of them if it doesn't align with who jesus says or who jesus is then that is not god that is one way. That is actually the only way because you can know that Jesus is the way. Uh, the final verse we're going to read is First Colossians 15. First Colossians verse 15. He is the image of the invisible God. You know, no one has seen God. No one has seen God and we all just believe in Jesus. And so, if you believe in Jesus, he is the image of the invisible God. Actually, one of the ways that you can know the Antichrist is if they do not recognize Jesus. Jesus, if so, me, like, the simple thing, I, me, I always just see. I always just watch and listen to people. People, anyone talk about God, God this, God that, you know, God, 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 God. But the moment you don't, it doesn't align with who Jesus is then that is not God. When it doesn't align with who Jesus is, it's not God. It's, it's just a plain lie. Even if it's a prophecy, if it doesn't align with who God is in Jesus, if it doesn't align with who God is in Jesus, then that prophecy, I don't know where it has come from. It's not from God. Because it has to align with who Jesus is. For by him, for by him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions, or rulers or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. And he is before all things, and in him all things hold together, and he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in everything he might be praised preeminent for in him all the fullness of god was pleased to dwell and through him to reconcile to himself all things whether on earth or in heaven making peace by by the blood of his cross i think this whole verse is exactly talking about what i'm talking about and you once and you who once were alienated and hostile in mind, doing evil deeds. He has now reconciled in his body of flesh by his death in order to present you holy and blameless and have reproach before him. If indeed you continue in the faith, stable and steady fast, not shifting from the hope of the gospel that you had, which has been pro proclaimed in all creation under heaven and of which I, Paul, became a minister." Oh, wow. We, we just have to stop right now. But like one thing I, I have to emphasize that Jesus is the truth about God. Jesus is the door about God to God. Jesus is a road to God. If you want to go to God, 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 um, the road. Jesus is the road. He's the only path. He's the only route. It's like going, to, it's like when you're going for example, I come from Kavale. So like when you go to Kavale, there's like so many new routes you could take. But, but like, as far as God is, Jesus is the only road. Not Abraham, not Moses, not saints, not angels. Jesus is the only route that you have to take. Jesus is the only route to the Father. So please, um, make sure that you get to understand who Jesus is, what he has done for you. Um, 
and the moment you understand who Jesus is and what he has done for you, then that is who God is. Jesus is savior. That is God. God is savior. God is not a destroyer. God is not a destruction. God is a savior because that's the name of Jesus. Yeshua, savior. He is Yahweh, savior. Jesus is jesus god saves he is a savior so go through him and not have any other way and you will go directly to the heart of the father and to who god is he is the image of the invisible father that is how god planned it from the beginning that all of us should go through jesus and you know when we go, all go through jesus no one is going to brag no one is going to boost over the other we are all together in this all of us going through Jesus to the Father, which is really justice for everyone in this world. So that no one can brown no one can be like, oh I'm black or I'm I'm white. Like no, we are all one in Jesus together, um, working together for the good of each other in the name of Jesus. So make sure you just focus on Jesus and you will not go off. Focus on Jesus and you would never fail to know who God is. God is Jesus. See Jesus and you know who God is and God is not a, myst- a mystery. Thank you so much for listening. I, I, I just feel like going on, but I have to stop for the sake of time. You are blessed and loved.